Sheen Show. Yeah, boy. What's going on, guys? Thanks for stopping by the channel. Today, we have some pretty big news for Outward. The game itself has not been changed much other than the addition of two DLCs. That is all about to change. According to GM, one of the fantastic creators of Outward, the game will get a pretty important update called the Definitive Edition. This information has been made known by GM in the Outward Discord, so if you haven't checked that out already, you definitely should. It is a great place to meet other Outward players, and the developers are really cool as well. The Definitive Edition will not be another DLC. It is meant to be more of a polishing of the game rather than new areas. Which also means no new areas in the game. GM stated that it is important to leave some room for interpretation in the game, and I agree. It is nice to imagine the rest of the world rather than knowing every minute detail that could take away the mystery of everything. Plus, that would require a lot of work from him. As far as where to purchase the Definitive Edition, it will be available on Steam, GOG, Epic Store, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series. Sorry to those of you who have been playing on PS4 or Xbox One, but they do not have the time or resources to get it finished for every console model. We have to remember that they are a small developer team, so this update itself is pretty awesome on their part. Another awesome thing they are doing is giving it away for free? Well, not entirely, but yes. Those who do not have the game or its DLCs already will need to pay, which makes sense. However, if you have the full game purchased, including DLCs, then this will be free for you. The developers stated pretty clearly that the player base has supported them already and it would be unfair to make us pay for more. Another interesting thing that was brought up is you will still get the Definitive Edition for free on the new consoles even if you have been playing on the PS4 or Xbox One. It apparently sucked for them to work out that process, but I think the player base will enjoy it quite a bit. So pretty cool so far, but let's take a look at what will actually be changing. First up are graphics. The game will look much cleaner and have improved performance on consoles. This has not really been an issue for PC players, but console people 100% needed it. Then there are the DLCs. If you have played the game, you know that the DLCs are very cut off. For example, you can only find corruption areas and enchantments in the Antique Plateau. The Three Brothers DLC also cut off the entire Caldera area, making any items over there a grind to get. Things such as elemental arrows can only be bought near the end of the game once you have finished building the town, which makes bow bills very frustrating to play. This is changing. Corruption, enchant ingredients, and even certain workshops will be found in multiple regions. You might not have to travel to Caldera for just the totems now. Very excited about that change. It will greatly improve the feel of the game since everything will be a little less separated. It was also stated that a bit more feedback was added where it made sense to. Apparently things like enemy weaknesses will be a little easier to detect. This was not elaborated on a whole lot, so it will be interesting to see exactly what is changing with that. It would be nice to know a little more about your enemies other than that they have an attack and can beat you to death. Alright guys, so this right here is one of the biggest and possibly game changing adjustments right here. Stash chests will now be connected through all the houses. This has been something the Outward community has talked about for a long time. So much that there is actually a mod for it. But now that will not be needed as it is going into the game and we could not be more excited. Also, there will be changes to how online co-op will work with stash or player house chests. The joining party will no longer have access to the host's stash chests. Instead, the joining party will be able to access their own stash from the host's world. The changes to chests here is probably the most immersion-breaking change. However, the devs feel it is necessary. It is annoying to place stuff in one house to then need it as soon as you walk two hours to the next town. It can be very frustrating, especially if you have a lot of cool items stored in Sierzo and you forget to save the town. It also seems like we will be getting some changes to defeat scenarios. Things like how much time has passed and how broken your items are will be more noticeable when you wake up. This is mostly so that players will know if they have lost an item due to sucking or due to a bug in the game. Once again, this is not too big of a change, but it can make or break the game if you start losing items without knowing how. One of my favorite changes is you will now be able to see all craftable items you have unlocked even if you are not at the right station. Finally, 
I can look in my inventory for recipes on health potions and stamina potions rather than going to the old wiki page. This will definitely make for a smoother gaming experience. For those of you who hated the town building process, you will love this next part. It will soon be possible to trade in samples for ones you actually need. Currently, it is impossible to build the town if you are unlucky. I went and grabbed four unidentified samples and was still unable to build my town hall because I didn't get the items I needed. Now, you can get whatever items and trade them for the specific ones you need. No longer will I spend 12 hours gathering rocks that do nothing for me. The town building has been my least favorite aspect of Outward, so I'm very excited to see this altered at least a little bit. We can now remove plant tents and fire pits. How awesome is that? I remember placing fire pits in the worst places and being like, oh well, guess they're staying there. It will be nice being able to spruce up our towns a little. The bad news, however, is that your stuff can disappear if you leave it in the towns. Which is much more realistic, but means giving up your free camping sites. Lastly, there will be new content coming with this update. We were not given any information on that specifically, since it is too early for them to release anything. We do know that the update will come out in 2022. The devs were very clear that they do not intend to wait longer than that, but they also have to be careful because they don't want to compete with Elden Ring. That game will be huge and is highly anticipated. I imagine the Definitive Edition will come out about three or four months after Elden Ring does. Elden Ring is set to come out in February, which leads me to assume the Definitive Edition will be out sometime near August. That is just a guess, however, so take that date with a grain of salt. They still have a lot to do in terms of development, and it will be quite a while until we can enjoy it. This game often gets overlooked, even though it is such an amazing experience. I am eager to see what will happen with it in the next year. The devs did mention that they do not plan on adding every one of the towns or locations seen on the map. This may be the last addition to Outward, but it may not. We will have to wait and see. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I am super excited to see the changes in Outward, and hopefully you guys are too. Comment down below what changes you would like to see, and I will see you in the next video.